For the Tennessee Titans, following an injury-riddled season prior in 2022, to be honest, there wasn't a whole lot of expectations for these Titans to have a successful run in 2023. Even in an AFC South, that seemed primed for a rebuild, not just from the Titans, but also from, at least going into the season, from the Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts, um, pretty much all the teams below the Jacksonville Jaguars, who at least going in looked like a team on the rise. Especially considering when you look at the Tennessee Titans. They kind of addressed um, their struggling defense from the year prior by adding the likes of cornerback Sean Murphy Bunting from the Tampa Bay Bucks and linebacker Aziz Al Shair from the San Francisco 49ers. But then, even with those uh, key additions to the defense, there's still that cloud of a potential last dance. Um, and it kind of didn't feel like a good last dance either uh, for both quarterback Ryan Tannehill and running back Derrick Henry, who was that key, uh, those those two key pieces in that 2019 Cinderella run to the AFC Championship game against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. So the potential of a last dance, if you want to consider that, for those two, uh, it loomed very large because during the offseason of last year, there were loud trade talks uh, surrounding those two. So you're going to a season, not a whole lot of expectations for um, the Titans. And, well, it certainly was solidified. It certainly was validated because when you look at what went wrong for this team, um, it was pretty much the entire offense, um, starting with the offensive line because whoever was under center, whether it was Ryan Tannehill, um, Malik Willis, or eventually Will Levis uh, under center, they ha- they barely had time to throw the ball, whether it was inside the pocket or out, out of it because they were forced out of the pocket um, their offensive line was a hot mess in pass protection. Um, running, uh, run, run protection or like um, running the ball, they were they were good because well, Derrick Henry's still that good. But anyway, that's besides the point. They allowed a crap ton of pre- uh, pressure in pass protection, and they allowed their quarterback to get sacked a lot, which also resulted in Ryan Tanhill getting injured and Will Levis suffering an injury scare. Oh, no, he actually also got injured at one point. So, for Tennessee, it, it was a pretty bad year, again, in in the offensive line. And if they really want to, like, take themselves a little bit serious, more seriously in trying to keep their quarterback healthy, that's something they, they really need to fix um, next, next year, a.k.a. this fall. So, continuing on with the offense, they really didn't produce a whole lot. Um, it was already bad enough when the offensive line was a problem, but the offensive whole was like really lacking in a lot of areas, um, especially in the receiving in the receiving game, because DeAndre Hopkins was the only standout player uh, coming over from the uh, game from the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, like, yeah, he was the only guy that could establish a connection with, with whoever was at quarterback. But he was old, he's getting older. He's like in his thirties now. Um, in well, yes, he's had his moments. Um, the second or third year uh, receiver, Traylon Burks, he's yet to be a consistent top guy that's still trying to replace A.J. Brown. And the Titans are still dealing with the after effects of that, um, making that really big mistake of trading away A.J. Brown. And in terms of the quarterback position, Ryan Tannehill, like, he could serve it in his display. I mean, you're getting what you're getting with him at this point. Um, and Derrick Henry, like I said, had a, had a solid year. Uh, but again, the whole offense has still been over reliant on him. So it was clear that the offense was still lacking that explosiveness. That was until Will Levis. Uh, w- once uh, Will Levis had to enter into the lineup, mainly because of Ryan Tannehill um, getting injured in that London game against the Baltimore Ravens. Um, oh, actually, it was after um, that bye week when they came back from London. Uh, Will Levis, he actually looked pretty solid um, in the games that he played. Yeah. He made uh, a lot of bad decisions, but, I mean, expect it from a rookie. Um, it left a lot to be desired, too. He opened up the offense a good amount. Um, he made a lot of aggressive plays. Um, drew the ball, uh, was a better deep ball passer. I mean, in fairness to Ryan Tanhill though. Um, and he established a much better connection with DeAndre Hopkins. So, overall, I mean, we'll love his season. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like, oh, he, he was, like, great and all that. 
I mean, I would say it's, I would say it's decent. So he he would get he will get a chance to prove himself um this off season, um in OTAs and training camp. Um, that's if the Titans don't bring in another quarterback. Um, so yeah, that that the Titans are considering that they're going through a full rebuilding phase uh, this off season. Will Levis, I think, is going to be able to prove uh, get a chance to prove himself. And then when you look at another positive for this Titans season, it's the play of linebacker Aziz Alshair. Um, this is a really good pick. This ended up being a really good pickup for uh, Tennessee coming over from San Francisco in a one-year prove-it deal. Um, he proved to, that he can be a pretty much a like a jet. Uh, not, not the team, but he's like a, flying all over the field, finishing with over 100 tackles, and he pretty much did well wherever you asked him to do. So Aziz Alshair, wherever he goes next, whether it's staying in Tennessee or going to another team long-term, like I, you feel like, man, he could be a big producer for whichever defense needs him. And then you look at how the season ended for the Titans. Sure, they're going to a rebuilding phase, uh, maybe a long one too. But you look at the way the season ended for Tennessee. They played their best for last. Um, you get one last good performance out of Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry. They combine for three touchdowns. The defense pretty much harasses Trevor Lawrence all game long against in. That pretty much the entire Titans team put the hurt on the Jaguars in Week 18 to eliminate them from playoff contention and clinching the division. That was that's a pretty good way for the the Titans. Yeah, a losing season overall, but hell, it ends on a high note. Um, sure, they finish the season six and eleven, but they go out on a high note. Unfortunately, you couldn't say the same about um, head coach Mike Vrabel because surprisingly, they decided to fire him. I'm sure they didn't do too well in 2022, but a little surprising that they fired him despite um, all that's happened. And well, expecting that they didn't um, expecting that they were going to do this well um, in in 2023. So I guess they wanted a fresh start uh, for this rebuild with former Bengals offensive coordinator Brian Callahan, um, who was key in the development of Joe Burrow and the Bengals offense um, in his time over there in Cincinnati. But he's going to have a big uh, task at hand to start this rebuild. So going into the offseason for the Tennessee Titans, they at least have a really good foundation of starting this rebuild. They have around, at this time, $80 million in cap space. So they have a lot of money, 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 yeah, yeah, to spend um, when the new league year starts. Um, they have the seventh overall pick. So they have some flexibility on what they need. Um I'm not sure, really too sure if they really want a quarterback. Um, <laughs> because, you know, you still have Will Levis and Malik Willis. I mean, let's be real here. I mean, no disrespect to him, but, I mean, he's had his chances. So, anyway, looking at some of the key free agents, linebacker Aziz al Shair, you you might consider re-signing him. Edge rusher Dinico Antri, uh, corner Sean Murphy Bunting, and running back Derrick Henry. I say the top three are your most pressing needs. Um, I mean, it's pretty clear that Derrick Henry is ready to move on from the Titans. So look at some of their needs to address it once the new league year begins. Um, I think it's pretty clear that you have to upgrade the offensive line if you're the Titans. Because as I noted, the pass protection the last two years has been god-awful. Um, it's gotten Ryan Tannehill injured, and it's also gotten Will Levis injured. So they especially need a new left tackle, though. Um, while they have to address both guard positions in order to get whoever's going to be quarterback injured they have to prevent their quarterback from getting injured again but that left tackle position um that blind spots uh for their quarterback they have to go get a new starting left tackle and then once you address the offensive line you have to find uh some key areas for your defense find new cornerbacks find a new safety um, because it was like one of the worst in the league um getting torched very frequently especially considering like when the pass rush didn't hit home they were just we're getting burned out there like burnt toast when you overheat it. So if they don't plan on re-signing Sean Murphy bunting, they need to use um, both free agency and the draft to address those two positions um, as well as the safety position because of the Kevin Byard trade last year, by the way, Kevin Byard ended up getting released by the Eagles. So <laughs> um, neither party won that. And then last but not least re-sign uh, Aziz al Sayer and Nico Andre. Uh, at their respective positions. So these are the two uh, key free agents that Tennessee should be prioritizing to re-sign. They have a lot of money. 
get it done. So overall for the Titans, yeah, it was kind of an expected season where they weren't uh, expected uh, to succeed a whole lot, even in a kind of weak AFC South uh, division. So they fired the head coach, Mike Rabel. Um, they're starting a fresh uh, with Brian Callahan and whoever's going to be the starting quarterback, whether it be Will Levis, Malik Willis, or maybe even a new quarterback under center. But all I know is that they have a lot of key areas that they need to address uh, coming soon um, once the new league year opens up. Um, and I don't know if they're going to be really competing in 2024. But I will say is that they have to um, really take this uh, offseason seriously um, if they really want to commit to a rebuild this coming year and beyond.